to it, set to it Looking on the city lights Flashing bright in my eyes Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside And there's no need to hide So these is a piece of one by two cut at two nineties. It needs to be finessed and cleaned up and kind of sanded a little bit, made it look nicer. But these are the end caps for the front of the ambulance, and this is what will keep the moisture and the wind from getting underneath the sheets and pulling it back. And it should give it enough protection, but it's basically just to keep all that front area. That work I've done has a nice protective. It also gives me a spot to weld some off-road stuff too like off-road lights and everything else but uh to make it match where it is i have to come through here and cut all these little slots in here to get it to match the curve that i need to so this is the first curve straight second curve third curve and then cut off and if everything goes right these will be perfect they find how they are and I can come in there and weld it up and make it pretty afterwards. 
other than right around the windows and the opening section which is where that corner piece is going to go on right along there where you see light and the only reason that's left like that is so I can run rivets all the way completely through the outside protection through the sheet and through the inside and have it all grouped up basically and watertight and uh, tight down and uh, well connected there and then that will seal up both these and then we can also finish the windows out get the windows in and get it prepped for paint get the roof done but even this I got some temporary rivets holding up the butyl tape in between the layers and on this side we're gonna have butyl tape and on the outside we're gonna have a epoxy uh, we're going to have that metal to metal uh, seam sealer for automotive on the outside which there's about a four inch gap there and that's what's going to hold it out from there plus we'll have the paint plus I have some sealer stuff that's going to go up there too. So I have three forms of epoxy sealing that up there along with all the rivet holes that do still leak which I've gone through and if I could get a fingernail underneath them I replace the rivets and I still got to do a couple more rivets like that and it needs to be done. And then the seams are also going to be done that way with the epoxy and beetle tape. The back row of rivets have beetle tape. The front row will have epoxy. It should never ever be a problem. And then it has this kill mountain on top of it. And it's rained three or four times now and it hasn't got any water where it's really leaking in here at. Well, maybe. I say that. It's all wet up here, but not near as wet, but that could be due to that hole, which leads it kind of straight down, which is probably where it's coming from. So, once we get all that done and watertight in here, we'll know it's watertight when we get it all done. But, uh, I get that rivet in, we should have it watertight. And then, we'll be back to welding up all these subframes in here, which is, we can get this done. The electrical car compartment down here, which will have the electrical and the batteries and the DC system. I'm going to actually end up sheeting behind this with rock wool. And this is going to be covered, but I'm going to use it as a wire um, pull through so I can run all the wire up there and have it look pretty on this side. And I'll hide all the wire from everything and DC and everything else. And the area I'm currently... The area I'm actually currently standing in right here will have the rest of the subfloor put in. I'll put braces all the way down and we'll be up walking around whenever I go by the uh, three quarter to half inch plywood. I haven't decided yet. So right here will be the start of the kitchen cabinet. It will go all the way up. My cooking I plan on having here, prep area, sink, and refrigerator over there somehow. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to tie it in. I would like to have it higher up so I can use this uh, lower portion for outside access, storage, um, I haven't decided. Tub here, toilet, living area is this area, and then walkway, and of course, electrical here. I might do a project table there, I haven't decided. Closet here, bedroom up there with storage shelf in between. Um, I will probably have some sort of storage shelf over here around the toilet area. For toilet paper because I like to buy it in bulk and it's just easier to store all in one setting and have it kind of come out so it'll be a weird angle but I think it'll work best for the space all it has to do is really keep me alive that's all your building is basically a house that keeps you alive and all that fun stuff and then outside I'm gonna put some I'm gonna run some supports outside for some outside storage, um, probably fuel tanks and some various other things. This is going to be where the welder is sitting at right now. It's going to be some form of storage. I haven't decided what it's going to have. I think below this is going to have the water fill and the electrical hookups. And of course that's going to be the dumps and the composting dump. I think that that's going to be the best way to make it work. And then I might have some water tanks and some other stuff over here, or filters. So, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get to work. Stars up above me, stars in my eyes, fire below me, starting the rise. I'm my own captain, hanging on tight tonight. Pointless to try and turn back the time. I've never been this old in my life. Load up my spaceship, tear through the sky, I'm Leave regrets
pretend we should say in hopes and bills and wondering what would happen. Think I'll leave it all behind. I don't wanna wait. there but I think I might try to unscrew, the, unscrew this out and get that a little closer see if we can get a little bit tighter squeeze but I can make up some of that difference with uh, the goop it doesn't have to be perfect although I'd like it to be perfect now I can also hammer it down a little bit but I gotta finish holding this one up and then I'll pull it down and clean up the edges here and around here and we'll come through and Clean it up and make it look nice. Remove all these rivets we have on it. Pull it in there and do a, a better job of it off the thing. Then we'll bring the goop and goop it up on the corners and everything else with that epoxy. And then we're going to rivet in place and call it good. Then we can put clean off the window here and put some butyl tape or maybe goop I think it's going to be butyl tape because I want to be able to pull it out I am going to rivet in place however and then we'll have one side completely sealed we also got to go weld up the corner pieces which won't take long especially with the new position of the welder and that will make this piece this side's done and we'll flip the ambulance around and a sec, I need to put this, place that one I flip it around we'll do the other side then when we're all done, we'll run a, a thick strip across there and put the lights up there. At least pre-mount them, get everything pre-mounted for the lights. And then we'll see about putting a bar across here for lights and functioning stuff. Well, it might be lights. We'll see. But uh, this is all fancy fly stuff. And this one needs to be pulled out and moved closer too. So yeah, we're making progress. get the corner piece on and a lot of rivets in it and sealed up this corner so this makes it almost watertight I gotta do some more tests to find out if it's watertight I also have a, uh, a smaller piece that's gonna go below here and attach over but there's rain coming and I gotta get inside it looks good I also gotta finish welding up and make it look pretty but, uh, this side's almost done. I can do the other side soon. It looks good. And it'll... Yeah, here comes the rain. Alright. 
I'm getting close to the house so I can run in there, but uh, I think that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It amazes me how much actually cooler it is in here. Even though it's hot outside, it's not that hot in here. Yeah, that needs to be done right. But I'm going to get in here probably with a welder and weld up some of this. Then I'm going to start welding on the sides. I already started welding on this side over here. I probably won't crawl up on the roof till later on this evening just because I would like to get this trimmed up and all the welding done in here. So there's a lot more welding to be done. The biggest thing is not to get over exhausted and overheated as I did the other day. Plus I've been sick so I'll be a little bit smarter anyhow. But once I have the four welded in place and bolted down I can go get the plywood. Oh, I gotta put marker lights on and some other things on around the outside, but and go get the plywood and get that taken care of. Um, also, I got a new, well, not a new thing. I got for my battery opening thing. I got a new handle on it that works really well, but it doesn't match up perfect. So I gotta modify a piece of um, aluminum. This is the other piece I was working on the other night. Before I get really sick, I gotta come in here and fair this up, clean this up, weld this back in, cut this back in, and make it look good. And really clean it up. I need some cleaning up down there too. Yeah, uh, I might come up here and just cut that off with the table saw. I got the table saw up and going too. But we'll be making more progress soon. It's just I have to rest. I can't push it that hard. <sighs> wow, I'm tired. Having done anything yet today. Anyhow, the drag thing was really cool and he knitted it just was noisy and a little crazy. And I think that's the day that we lost the cat, so. God, I'm tired. I'm going to go back in there and sit down for a while longer. I'm still not over this. I'm still taking medication, so. That's what's going on.